what's wrong with it. Okay, that was very different than what it was like with Crowley. Hey guys, Dagara here and welcome back to my channel. We are now in episode 3 of season 10 of Supernatural. I honestly cannot believe we've made it this far. It's been quite the journey. I'm so glad that I started this show. Just a heads up, I do have to leave my window open because it's melting hot today. So if you can hear background noise, I apologise for that. Hopefully it won't be too bad. If you would like to see the full reaction of this episode, please head down in the description and you will find a link there to enjoy. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into episode 3. Hunk sanguinem, sacro, hedonantibus, sanguinem, debita dimito. <coughs> what do we have here? Dicolorum. Someone Remitia. that's very nervous, apparently. He voluntati dei serviet. Doctor. Father. What was he doing then? Blessing something? Human blood. Oh, I was going to say vampire, but he's going to inject him with this. And he's going to try and see if he get some of his humanity back isn't he and this could potentially backfire as well because he could become addicted to it and sam knows sam knows all too well what being addicted to blood is like oh. i'm sorry but dean's hair is a hundred percent really better as a demon <laughs> Remember, it's worth... do you not think i got your blood type Sam, I know you think you're gonna try and fix me, but did it ever occur to you that maybe I don't wanna be fixed? Just let me go live my life. I won't bother you. What do you care? What do I care? Henri tum sacrum. You think I'm just gonna sit here like Crowley? Come sacro. Getting all weepy while you shoot me up? Well, screw that. I don't want this. Yeah, I pretty much figured that out. You don't even know if this is gonna work, do you? You know, I got a hell of a lot more running through me than just demon juice. Mark of Cain, got it. That's right. Buckle up. Sammy, you know I hate shots. I get chills every time they, they zoom in on his eyes. <laughs> ah! Okay, that was very different than what it was like with Crowley. Is that because of the mark of Cain? She's still crushing on him. How are you holding up? Fine. You say you're fine, but you don't look You're not really fine. fine. <laughs> That's what the humans do. They say they're fine. And even if I, I don't look it, you say I look well, and in that way we avoid talking about something we can do nothing about. I mean, that's so true though, isn't it? We do that all the time. I just can't see how Sam Winchester could ask you to drive all this way to help with his brother, knowing your condition. He doesn't know. Big About how badly your borrowed grace is fading, does he? He knows some. And he didn't have to ask. Sam is alone in this. He's attempting to change Dean from demon to human with a cure of sanctified blood, but there's sanctified no guarantee that will work. If it doesn't, then Dean is gone. Whereas Crowley's was just fresh blood straight from the from the bod, wasn't it? So is that why Dean reacted the way he did then? I worry about you. Well, oh, me. I always wor worry about Cass. Ah. Growl like what? For all you know, you could be killing me. Or you're just messing with me. Either way, the Lord doesn't say anything about exceptions to the cure. <laughs> the lore. Hunters. Men of letters. What a load of crap it all is. Oh, you got nothing? You want me to debate you? This isn't even the real you I'm talking to. Oh, it's the real me, all right. The new real me. The me that sees things for what they really are. Uh-oh, he's gonna say something hurtful right now. Winchesters. Do-gooders. Fighting the natural order. Well, let me tell you something, guys like me, we are the natural order. It's the way it was set up. Guys like me, 
We've still got to do what we can. Don't be so full of yourself, Sammy. You see, from where I'm sitting, there ain't much difference from what I turned into to what you already are. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I know what you did when you went looking for me. And I know how far you went. Crowley told me all about it. So let me ask you, which one of us is really a monster, hmm? Starting to come back to you now? What? Things have been a little rough on you lately, huh? Rough. My wife kicked me to the curb. Did Sam send him that to Crowley? It is possible that you can have your revenge. You were trying to get a 20 on Crowley and me from any demon you could snag. He put innocence at risk. I mean, obviously that innocent was a douche, but still. Crossroads. He was the one that set that up. Right. Stand right here. Twist a Rooney. When I say so. Read the words off the paper. Are you sure Did about Did not this? see that coming. Yeah, trust me. All right, go ahead. Okay, um, Damon, esto, oh, voluntati. Who summons me and for what purpose? Kill my wife. Hey, Lester? And my soul is yours. No! Done. No! You would have liked to have gotten there before the deal went down. Right, so he didn't know that that was going to happen. You care about poor old Lester, did you? Well, he did care. You could tell by his face that he cared. Nobody knows where Crowley and your brother are. And that's why he was... Right, okay. The pieces are, are now fitting together now. Oh, and so you know, I killed Lester myself. And that wife of his married the tattooed guy. I never meant. Who cares what you meant? That line that we thought was so clear between us and the things that we hunted. Ain't so clear, is it? it well, of course it's not so clear, because you're in the mix, Dean. Actually be worse than me. I mean, you took a guy <sighs> his lowest, used him, and it cost him his life and his soul. Nice work. Huh? Did Jensen get jacked for this role? He seems this, Sammy, more muscular. If this doesn't work, we both know what you gotta do to me, right? You got the stomach for that, Sam? Oh, Sammy. I just want to hug him and tell him it's going to be okay. I mean, I don't know that, but I just want it to be so bad. Take her away. Crowley on his throne. So Hilarious. I have an update on the angel Castiel. His grace seems to be fading. He's losing strength. If one were so inclined, this would be a propitious time for one to eliminate him. One. You, sire. Follow him. And keep me informed as to his decline. But he's not said that he'll do it himself, though, did he? What's he thinking? Dean Winchester by his side. Together we rule, together we create. Is he missing Dean? Perfect hell. Great one. Your Majesty. Are you all right? I was thinking a better day. Yes, your sabbatical. If you'll forgive my boldness, I could now be your wingman. Could you? I, too, uh. love to party. <laughs> and I do love the ladies. And the classic rock and roll. Most importantly, I can debauch by your side without being a personal embarrassment. You'll see what I'm worth. Oh, I can see already. <laughs> Anyone else care to comment? I forget that Crowley is extremely powerful at times. It's getting worse, isn't it? Castiel, it's time we stop avoiding the obvious. You and I both know how to fix this, both you and the situation. I will not slit some angel's throat and steal its grace. Before you say it, we definitely are not going begging to Metatron. Your preference to die for your principles, it's very noble, but it is meaningless. She wants you to stay alive, Cass. As we all do. Sam. Cass. I'm scared of Cass seeing what Dean's really like. Boy. It's gonna kill the me. Is working? No, I'm not very well. Look, it's, it's not like it was with Crowley. Dean's in pain. I mean, he's in... Bad pain. It's like he's barely holding on. Cass, it might be killing him. It might be. So, what, should I stop? And do what? He's not possessed. Exorcism is out of the question. The ritual of purified blood is the only treatment I know. Guess did you not hear what I just said? I could be killing my brother. Sam, 
He's, he's not, not your, your brother, at least not yeah. now. You have to be prepared. For Killing my brother. Are we going to see that reunion this episode of Cass and Dean? I'm a little bit terrified at that thought. Hey, hey, Dean, come on. Come back, come back to me. You there? Hey, Dean, you okay? Mm. Yeah, if you say that drowning in your own sweat while your blood boils, okay. Look, I can't stop doing this. Sure you can. You just stop. There's no point in trying to bring your brother back now. Oh, I will bring him back. In fact, you're a guilt-ridden weight of the world, bro. Has been MIA for quite some time now. But I'm loving the new model. Lean, mean, Dean. You notice that I tried to get as far away from you as possible. Away from your whining, your complaining. I chose the king of hell over you. Maybe I was just tired of babysit. Or always oh, here we go. Or lay my ass out of the fire. Here we go. Forever. Or maybe, maybe it was the fact that my mother would still be alive. If it wasn't for you, that your very existence sucked the life out of my life. This isn't my brother talking. You never had a brother. Just an excuse for not manning up. But guess what? I quit. No. No, you don't. You don't get to quit. We don't get to quit in this family. This family is all we have ever had. Well, then we got nothing. Would you say that to Dad? Dad. Oh, there's a prize. Here's a man who brainwashed us into wasting oh. our lives, fighting his losing battle. Oh, ooh. Is this you manning up? This is me yanking your lame ass out of the fire. God. I wonder if it is working and that's just what happens. 